Hi, the one in here, and welcome to this episode of Pokemon Trivia for July 14th. Today, we're going to talk about Electrode. Now, Electrode is 1.2 meters or 3 foot 11 inches tall and weighs 66.6 kilograms or 146.8 pounds. Now, due to Electrode's unique shape, we can do some fun stuff with these figures. If we assume that Electrode is a perfect sphere, that would mean that half of its height, 0.6 meters, is the radius of Electro's body. We can use this value to determine Electro's volume, or, put another way, how much stuff there is in it. The formula for a volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 times by pi times by the radius cubed. So if we insert the value for the radius we have, this gives us 4 over 3 pi times by 0.6 cubed. This evaluates to 0.904 dot 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 or 0.9, the unit for this being meters cubed. So Electrode is 0.9 meters cubed and weighs 66.6 kilograms. What else can we do with this new value? Well, I'll tell you. You can work out Electrode's density. Density is a measure of how heavy something is per unit mass. So for example, the density of iron is 7.8 grams per centimeter cubed, meaning that if you had one centimeter cubed of iron, it would weigh 7.8 grams. The way to work out density, if you haven't figured it out already, is to divide the mass of the object by its volume. So we know Electra's weight, or mass, and we've just worked out its volume. So we can work out the density. The density of an electrode is 66.6 .6 divided by 0.04 etc, which calculates a value of 73.6 kilograms per meter cubed. So for every meter cubed of electrode we have, it will weigh 73.6 kilograms. But here's the interesting part. If you want to determine whether or not something will float on water, you have to look at the density of the object relative to the density of water. Ergo, if the object has a lower density than water, it will float. The density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cubed, which is far more than the measly value we calculated for electrode, 73.6 kilograms per meter cubed. So in theory, electrodes should float on water. Why then can't it learn surf? Well, I'd say it's due to the fact that, if you think about it, all a sphere does if you place it in water is spin in place. And the whole point of surf is to carry you over a body of water. Something to think about nonetheless. So guys, that's it for today's trivia. Tune in next time for some more interesting facts. Links to the previous episode and all of our channels are on screen now. I'll see you next time, guys.